And now, the Bremerton musicians. Thank you. 
became that of rooster. The rooster was crowing sadly. The donkey asked, What's wrong with you? The way you crow, it makes me so sad, I almost want to cry. The rooster replied, The donkey said, But you have a fine voice. Why not come with us to burn ourselves? I will be coming to there. So off they went the donkey, the dog, the cat, and the rooster. And 
window. And the robbers ran away. And then the four friends ate and ate and ate and ate. As they were very tired, they soon put out the lights and went to sleep. All, the time, all this time, the robbers had been hiding in the forest. Why did we run away, they asked. Surely there's nothing to be afraid of. But they sent one robber back just to make sure. The robber crept up to the house. Slowly, he opened the door and went inside. Everything was pitch black, except the cat's eyes shining in the dark. The robber went right up to the cat. The cat spit at him and scratched his face. Help, help, said the robber. This woke the dog who jumped up and bit the robber's leg. Help, help. Said the robber as, said the robber as he turned toward the door. The donkey woke up and gave the robber a hard, swift kick. Said, shouted the robber. The noise woke the rooster. He cried, and the robber ran away from the house as fast as he could. When he reached the other robbers, they asked what happened. Oh, it was terrible. An ugly witch spit at him and scratched his face with a long, sharp nails. Then a monster stabbed my leg with a knife. And a giant hit me with a club, and then a ghost screamed at me. With that, the robbers left the forest, never to return again. But the donkey, the dog, the cat, and the rooster liked the house so much that they decided to stay there forever, and never went to Bremen Town to become musicians there. <laughs>